He's half fish. All right, so, so he can be whatever he wants. He's half fish. Just like the Little Mermaid. We see One Piece. <laughs> You see one piece yeah well, yeah but you can tell what character is white and what character is black in one right. in, in, in the fish man in the really yeah can yeah. you though yeah why yeah. tell me the most racist thing ever. candy guy yeah the candy version of wonka which yeah. came first the candy or the guy they were my best friends <laughs> <laughs> growing up the black can <laughs> I, I didn't want to leave the hotel. I was scared. To leave Meanwhile, the you think it smelled like straight horse booty, bro. <laughs> that was One. Welcome to Tabletop Topics. I'm your host, Jeff. And of course, Jeff, guys, if you want to catch and watch our ugly mugs on Tuesdays and Thursdays, we're on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Pandora. Deezer, TuneIn, iHeartRadio, Amazon Music, and now YouTube Music. We also have our YouTube channel, One Word, Tabletop Topics, our Triple T's Clips channel, and our TikTok. So if you click on the links, it'll take you directly to the episodes. And of course, we have timestamps so you can navigate throughout. Don't forget to like, subscribe, ring the notification bell, and of course, leave us a comment. Again, guys, thank you again for joining us at the Tabletop. Let's jump right into it. Of course, guys. Uh, we just have to write a disclaimer. This is a Jeff. Yeah, that? go ahead. Go ahead. Well, this is this is a uh, this is a pre pre recording because I uh, close tomorrow. So you uh, know work. Yeah, work. You know you wage know. cooking. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Working for the system. <laughs> but this is this is a very nostalgic feeling, right? In what sense? Oh, oh, real quick. The reason why I'm not saying Google Podcasts is because as of March, they're going to get rid of Google Podcasts. So I'm going to stop saying that at the beginning because apparently they're discontinuing because YouTube and Google are the same they're shit. The same. I never so that's that. why in our RSS feed, it says um, you can get all your RSS um, audio and put, and put it into Google right. and put it into YouTube, my bad. Right. But yeah, that's why I stopped saying that. But go ahead. Why does it feel nostalgic, Jeff, as I sip on my... Uh, my brand new dog. When's the last time we did a late recording, bro? Uh, we called it the midnight, midnight something, something late edition <laughs> of uh, tabletop topic. But that but, was usually when you were getting home. Late. Yes, I got home at what time did I get home? I got home at like eleven or twelve, mm -hmm. and I'm like, Jeff, I know you're tired, but we gotta do this. I feel that we gotta do this because. I, I'm not going to be able to do it tomorrow, the next day because I have to work the next day. So I was like, if we do it now, you get a day off tomorrow. That's like I'm always say sometimes with the pre-recording, even if you're tired coming from work. Oh, facts. Absolutely. It'd be awesome. Like, if that's you do. a great reward. Yeah, yeah. To you, give you, so you like, get it. What the fuck? Now you get to stay I'd up late. I'd climb Mount Everest if you gave me the day off tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> what? So me working to me closing tomorrow is giving you a day off. So that's, that's, that's kind of the reward of it. So you don't have to worry about because I know you have – Wednesdays with Michael, and then we're we're back on on we're doing the live on Thursday, um. So I just wanted to get this out the way, and then we're set. I feel that as I drink in my incredible whole cup. I know, right? Make finally makes its debut. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We actually yeah, have a conversation. Yeah. Right yes, um, if you guys didn't know, um, Incredible Hulk, Hulk is my number one hero in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, not the. Cucked MCU version, but the original one before he got whooped by Thanos. The incredible God. <laughs> you what? Yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah. So, uh, of course, I have a couple Funko Pops of the Incredible Hulk, but I also added the cup and, of course, my hat. But uh, Batman's my number one in DC, and of course, Incredible Hulk's my number one in uh, in the Marvel, Marvel Cinematic Universe. So, well, you know. I have <clears throat> Have the drink the room's not showing it, sir. We gotta we gotta update the. We do. I mean, I have a quarter of a him. quarter of him, but that's <laughs> that's that's based off the Avengers, <laughs> and of course, I have the Gladiator up there. But uh, you do have yes, and I have. Is that Fig Zero? O Fig? I, I've never heard of it, but I got it. It was a get, get that. Bring bring that it, on. Camera. It was a. I need to hold on. Oh yeah, we gotta be careful, right? No, no, you don't got to get the big one. Just get... Oh, no, no, that is the big one. Yeah. Yeah, Hulk is, yeah, Hulk is the big one. Okay. So, Show it to the audience. This is a birthday gift from my buddy, my uh, brother from another mother, uh, Skyler. Like, he knew what I liked, so he Oh, went. it's Q-Fig. Q-Fig, yeah. Ah. So he got me a World War World War Hulk. Um, 
Is this World War Hulk? F- figurine, yeah. And it has a it has a Thor attachment to it. Oh, right. Because it's a rag- Thor, it's Thor like, rag- sit on top of it or something? Mm-mm. So there's a gap in the front where you can attach where you can attach the um, Thor from Love and Thunder on it. I'll show you the figure of her here. Show them that. So that's the other, that's the attachment that you would put in the front. You see that, that little crescent moon in the front? Yeah. That little crescent moon right there in the front is where you would attach. So it's a two piece. Oh, yeah. right, because he's like chucking Thor, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Thor's okay. about to attack, and then, of course, he's about to... Thor's about yeah. to throw lightning, and he's about to throw the hammer. That's pretty neat. Yes, sir. I love how the this Thor looks nothing like Hemsworth. Hemsworth. Right. I guess so. That way, they don't have to pay the guy, like... Of course, of course. Or some shit. They'll probably pay, they're probably paying Disney the residuals, but not him. Oh! <laughs> Right, because they get paid up front when they make a movie, right? Yeah, they get paid up front, and then they get paid after the film is being made. But, yeah, yeah, so, um, yeah, Hulk is one of my uh, favorite heroes. Um, It's just I need to start representing him more. So Best Hulk depiction. Yes. Aside from the comic book. Aside from the comic Because we all know comic book. Come on. Yeah. World Breaker Hulk. No, but, like, best Hulk depiction Aside from the comic books. Oh yes, yes, yeah, that was who, the best. Who did it better? Like name a a, a a a a title or a product, like in terms of a show or a movie. Like if I okay, prime example. If I were to give you one, I would say Hulk versus. Ooh, that was you see what I'm one. saying? Because it actually showed, yeah. Because of course Wolverine is my favorite character, right. and they pitted them against each other. So. They call him the immortal, the mortal god. The mortal god. He's the mortal god that actually, um, as guardians, fear because he can actually kill them, and he's not immortal. Because as right, guardians are super strong, yes, but they they're imbued with strength and immortality. But at the same, well, not immortality, just long, longevity, longevity of life. Right. But uh, at the, at the same time, the um, they found a mortal being that is stronger than them because their life expectancy is longer. Yes, but. They found a mortal god that is Wait, strong. they can outlive Hulk? Mm-hmm. We've seen, like, a thousand-year-old Hulk, like... like a- If he stays in Hulk form, yes. Okay, right. But if, if it's right. Bruce Banner, of course... Right, he's out. Well, and that's why Banner merged with him. Like, their minds. Yeah. Professor Hulk. Yeah, 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 right. yeah, 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 yeah. You feel yeah, me? Professor Hulk. So. Um, but what was I going to say? Nostalgia. Uh, right. No, no, no. I want to I wanna keep going on the whole thing. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Like, for sure. Um, for sure. Would you ever give 03 Hulk a second thought? No. No? No. You didn't like it? Uh, they were too... Um, well, as a kid, it was exciting because it came out 2003. So I was 13 years old, not being able to go to the movies. This is CGI. That This was the peak CGI besides... The only Hulk you remember was the 80s Hulk. The Yes. Right. Yeah. So right. I remember that 80s Hulk. And then, of course, they came out with uh, Spider-Man, which was 2002, which I didn't see. Right. So the best part about... Um, there was an Incredible Hulk TV c- cartoon series, wasn't there? Yes. The 1996 version. Right. But that was the only iteration you can see. And, of course, they only he only fought machines. He never fought people. Because every time he was about to fight people, what did they do? Calm down. Calm down. He ran away, or he's like, roar, and then he jumps, you know? I know that wasn't like, ah. I was like, roar, you know? But, All right, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he he kind of did that. and then, But then the movie version of it, we didn't even actually see the. But I felt like here's okay, right? I think. O three Hulk's feats were way better than O eight Hulk. Yes, O three Hulk's feats were better because they're trying to be comic book accurate as possible. Right. That that ex- right. aspect I love because we know the angry he gets, the bigger he gets. So they yeah. focused they focused on that way too much because there's only so much genes can handle. You know what right. I'm saying? So. <laughs> You what? I'm just saying, you know, those those jeans would have came off a I'm long time dead. ago. I'm dead. Oh man. Not saying I was trying to take a peek or anything like that. I'm dead. Cause, but um yeah, those jeans would have came off a long time ago and, and for me it was there was no 
I wanted an interaction. He was just running, jumping, dodging machines. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, but and I get that aspect because that was the whole. Oh, I'm, I'm running my entire life. They were chasing me. Right, because that's literally. I'm what trying it is, to right? avoid the fight. Yes, right. but you want to go to an Incredible Hulk movie to see him use his powers. But did he not though? We saw this motherfucker leap miles, run at the speed of sound. We saw this man fight three monster dogs and then proceeded to go fight an electric giant man. You know how trash that was? By the way, that was the absorbing man, which wasn't technically his dad, but they decided to. Oh, that was absorbing? Yes, Uh, because remember, he was changing into every element. Right. So, um, one, his dad did not. I think the dog fight was better than the dog fight was trash. You know why? Why? Because it was done in the dark and even with 4K upgrade, you still can't see it. You couldn't see shit. Even with 4K upgrade, you you lighten your TV, you fix all that stuff like that. You still can't see it's trash. They tried to do the Jurassic Park Godzilla effect with him. Yes. Like hide as much of what he's doing because they didn't have the technology. I get it. I get it. Spider-Man, Jeff. I know, but Spider-Man was way more practical effects, dude. Because it's easier to just have a guy in a suit do stunts versus... What about the swinging parts? A CG. That's easy. 90% of the movie is realistic, though. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Hulk, you literally have it to was practi- generate... It was practical. Yeah, it, it was wasn't. practical. It, it just made sense. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like, for something like that, you're fighting three muscular dogs. So that's why they dark it. Yeah, I couldn't see. They, yeah. Yeah. You know because... what I'm saying? Because the tech wasn't there. Like, you're not having full fight choreography yeah, yeah, it's with, true. It's you know true. what I'm saying? Like, think about it, dog. We're playing. Think about the games that were out in 2003. Think about the CGI that was the out. PlayStation in 2, the you Xbox. Feel me? You yeah. know what I'm saying? Name a CGI movie that came out in 2003. What was it? Find, I, uh, <laughs> Find Nemo? No. Find Nemo, no. No, it was The Incredibles. It was The Incredibles. The Incredibles came out in 2003. Look at that. But that was digital. That was all digital. That's all digital. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You could get away with that though, because yeah. like the environment reflects what's happening. But it was crazy because in 2004, when Spider-Man 2 came out, it was mostly CGI, but the graphics were, were amazing really in, for that time. Right. You see what I'm saying? Because most of it was CGI, less of it was practical. So that's that's true. So, so it's literally like well, one year, everything it just was, changed. I think it was like a blend. Because think about it. Remember when we watched the behind the scenes for Spider-Man 2? And they actually showed the guy wearing the dog. Yeah. Up, and then they were just connected on screen. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That part. You yeah, see yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. I and then, like, I think it was just... mostly, like, the swinging and the fighting right. on the train and you stuff. You see like... what I'm saying? So, like, it was still the actual things. They just used CGI to mask, you know, people. Like, Spider-Man, with most of the movies, has always prided themselves in practical effects. Not as, like, we've gotten now. You yeah. Know what I'm saying? Well, even in The Amazing Spider-Man with Andrew Garfield, they tried to do make the swing natural. Like, they right. showed you how right. hard it was to swing, how heavy it looked. Mm-hmm. Like, the, the, the tension when he'd, like, swing the web. And especially when he was doing the swinging on the cranes. On like, the you cranes. saw how he... His arm jerked, jerked and he right. had to hold on to hold it because it was like arm. actual swinging. So that. that's why they always that's say that. if you don't have Spider Man strength and you're swinging, you're gonna rip your you're arms up. Or or if you're not Tarzan, you know, Tarzan was <laughs> pure Tarzan muscle. Was All he ate was fruit yeah, his entire was, life. Oh, no, Tarzan was that motherfucker was tree surfing. Dog. That's crazy. <laughs> Now, that, that was a good movie. Great. That was yeah that was for great. for a movie that came out in '99. That was actually right, a good that was movie. actually good. Did you like the remake of that? Uh, with um, Skarsgård, um, the one of the Skarsgård uh-huh. brothers, like uh-huh. the return to whatever. Uh, I think it was okay. The only reason why I say that was because, um, I was trying to compare the animated movie to that one, and I'm like, well, in the animated movie, he was able to choke down the silverback gorilla, and in this one, that gorilla fucked him up. It's real life. I know, yeah. but that's what I'm saying. That, but that's what I'm saying. They're like. This nigga's been away from the jungle for how many years? Jeff, if you show you me a man saying? that's choking out a silverback <laughs> dog. I'm just, I'm, hey, hey, I'm just saying, you know? No, nah, we know, we know in real life, this man was getting beat the fuck up. That's what I'm dog. saying. So it's like, man, got beat up my childhood day, man. was destroyed. Shattered your dreams. I'm nine years old. Like, I can't go live in the listen woods. Listen here, listen here. I'm nine <laughs> years old. I can't old. go live in the woods. 
it. I'm nine years old watching this animated movie, and I'm like, yeah, this is fucking amazing. And then I'm watching the 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 live action remake, and I'm like, damn, Kerchak's not only still alive, but he's, he fucking him up. Harassing this, bro. He is fucking him up. It's Every like Every day, you left our family. You are no longer. Part I thought of after tribe. this guy hit like six years old, Kerchak would have chilled out nope he chased this motherfucker to dog that was crazy yep yep that's that was what's, crazy that's what's so funny about it and it's like yeah so i was i was kind of yeah it was okay like I, the the feats and abilities and strengths that they showed in the animation mm. did not translate well to live action because it's like at the end of the day he is human yes at the end of the day he has been gone for eight years so humanity right. has That's made him weak. Right. He he now has fat on his body. He right. does no longer walks on all fours and all that stuff like that. So he's lost all his strength because it's like if you don't, it's like what we said with the whole Batman thing. Um, um, right when he took eight years off. Yeah, with Bane. Right. What, what is that? Victory has made you weak, Vi- and victory has weakened you. Um, something. Damn it. <laughs> yeah, we always forget that. Victory has weakened you, and um. Peace has something, something like that brought down. Yeah. Right. So and yeah. So in his mind, he's like, I've won every fight. I don't have to practice anymore. And it's like, right. oh, I went to civilization, so I no longer have to act like a a, a gorilla anymore. So, of course, he's. And getting, they pointed that out in the film. Yeah, on how right. weak he was, how weak. and it it was basically it was basically um just um pointing out how because Tarzan left w- who he was in Africa. He had to find his roots again and connect with the animals again and become who he was before. Right. And that's basically what the end of the movie was when he was taking off his shirt, his pants, and then he was running with the animals and becoming who he was because mm-hmm. he had to remember. So it was basically like you need to remember who you are, and that's when he decided, I'm not going to go back to fucking civilization. You're going to stay here with me, right. and we're just going to live with the animals till we get old and die. So I think that's 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 what the um, – that's that's – what kind of ruined it for me because it's like they showed him how human he was compared to showing him how super strong he was. Even though he was like a thin man, he had the strength of animals, of animals because he was right. raised by them. He was running as fast as zero yeah. body fat yeah. with nothing but pure muscle. No, so if you think about that, yeah, he right. was built different. So built that's why it was um, like that. But I feel that civilizations made him. Weak. Yes. Yeah. So mm. it's like he forgot he forgot who he was. But um you were saying something about nostalgia? Right. <laughs> Sixteen minutes. In. <laughs> we just had to talk about my favorite buddy, so you know. Sixteen minutes in, that's crazy. <sighs> no, nah, I'm just saying, like Get the... it's been a while since we recorded Layla. Oh, he's really potatoing. Oh, I thought you were pointing out Bruce. He is potatoing though. He is potatoing. That boy's snoring. He's like, it's bedtime. Why are you still in here? (laughs) (laughs) Poor dog. Yeah, nostalgia. Yes. No, I was just speaking on that in terms of, like, us doing a late show, man. Oh, yeah, 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 Yeah. man. And and there's nothing wrong with doing that sometimes. I don't have any issue with it, um, especially if I close the next day. But, um, yeah, it's just... um, It it, it has been a minute, man. Like, I, I... we got so we dived into nerd stuff already, but I was gonna ask you like, how was your day? Cause, oh, you know yeah. me. No, nah, it was fire. You know, it was President's Day today. I didn't even know it was President's Day. Yeah, I forgot. There's so many American There's holidays. So, oh, you know, oh, everything. You a, what? Yes, guys. Yes, holiday. I forgot. I'm sorry. Pretty sure there's a national holiday for mugs. <laughs> There's one for ice cream and cookies, so <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised, my guy. I know, bro. I wouldn't be surprised. Well, like this one, though, President's Day. I didn't even know we had that day off. That's, so, that's no, weird. We don't. We're adults. We work. You know what I mean. Like Children have that day off. Government people. Government folk. We don't work for the government. Government employees. Or do we? And banks, right? Banks were closed today, too, or no? Do um, banks have President's Day off? think so what are you looking for joe yeah uh, nothing i'm crazy <laughs> keep going i'm distracted keep going i don't know what you're looking for that's i have why. no idea what i'm looking for <laughs> that was the most <laughs> adhd thing Hell i've yeah. ever seen in a minute oh man <laughs> jeff just starts looking for something like <laughs> uh, 
That's different. I feel it. Yeah. I feel that. Yeah. That's like me when I'm on the phone or some shit like that. Or I'm talk I'm texting. Mm-hmm. I just start walking around doing shit. <clears throat> for no fucking reason. Because you're distracted. I just start fixing shit. Picking things up, putting mm-hmm. it back down in the same place. Walk up and down the hallway, come back down, pick it up, put it back again. <laughs> it's crazy shit, man. Well, it's like when I'm having the conversation with you and then it, it, you're about to do like Let's say we're like, um, like we finish um, doing a live or we finish pre-recording or anything like that, and then I'm like, and then we're having a conversation, and you can't talk and upload or create the art or right. look for all the create the name or anything like that because you'll literally put your hand on the mouse and then you take your hand off the mouse and put it on your phone. And I'm like, Jeff, click on it. And now you put it back on the mouse. And you look at me, you'll start talking, and you'll take your hand and put it back on your phone. I'm like, bro, are you going to do, do – you... that's why I always say, do you want to switch seats? So I can take care of it because I can talk and actually do it at the same time. I'm like, bro, your ADHD is on a level t- – 12th level intellect like Lex Luthor. I'm just I'm just saying, man. Hey, Lex L- – nope. That's not X-Men. <laughs> Holy shit. You what? <laughs> no. Because I was like, hey, that's pretty good. The you disrespect. Said, you said Lex Luthor, and then I, I was looking at Professor X. <laughs> <laughs> they are both smart. <laughs> they smart as shit. Yeah, yeah that's like, true. Like what? Lex is comparable to Brainiac? Yes. Because uh, Brainiac's a 13th level intellect that's and 12. That's different. That's like a, that's that's a, God. a cosmic level intellect. Yeah. Why? How I don't is know. he that smart? You got time. When you got money, you got time. Well, he's mortal, though. Yeah, but he's in the DC universe, so he's not normal. I feel that. I feel that. Yeah. Speaking of uh, X Men. Oh shit! Nah, come on. All right, all right. Let me hear your grievances, Jeff. I'm watching all the videos, man. I'm just... <laughs> yeah, it's not looking good. No, they they got a woke person to direct it. <laughs> Oof. Are we gonna get another He Man? <sighs> We probably are. We're gonna get another Masters of the Universe. Yeah, they they took away Rogue's ass too. So <laughs> wait, I gotta see that video. I haven't seen it. I literally started watching 13 seconds of it, and I was just like, "Holy crap!" You what? Gonna... No. Uh, yeah, yeah. No, they wouldn't lie. Rose was thick as hell. Yeah, she was. She was thick. Rogue was thick with as two C's. Hell. That was crazy. <laughs> I knew exactly why. Thick. I knew exactly why my fucking five ten year old brain was watching X Men. So it was for Jean Grey. Uh huh. Rogue uh-huh. and Storm. Yep. That's it. Yep. I didn't care about the fucking fireworks chick. Nope. I didn't give a damn. So this is the this is some sparkle, of the sparkle. The, <laughs> what the hell I want to see. So this is some of the theories. The theory is uh Cyclops is not gonna be the leader of the X-Men for long. He's gonna die in some tragic death, and of course Jean Grey's gonna Jean Grey's gonna take over. Uh wokeism. Um Morph is a is a bi- non binary because he can Trans- right, because he's more because they can transform they can. and anything, anything. That makes sense. Is he like an original? Is he a new? No, mutant? Morph is an original character from the 1997. So show. I can understand that. Yes, I can understand that. And my thing is, but he always identified as a man. How is Jean Grey going to lead the X Men? Uh, she... Well, she needs to pop a Tylenol every five seconds. <laughs> well, she's she... pregnant. <laughs> You what? You didn't see in the intro. What are we doing? You didn't see in the intro. What's going She's on? Pre- so the direct, the guy that's the per- the guy that's directing um, the film is um, part of the LGBTQ and an activist. So he already he already um, decided what he was going to do. And the reason why we don't have the original voice cast because they are still alive. I looked it up. They are alive because he wanted the characters to play he wanted he wanted the voice actors to play the exact same race that the characters are so that's why we don't have <laughs> that's why we don't have the original characters you what yep yeah so yeah the show's not even out yet and they're already getting backlash so it's another he-man basically yes so they fucked it up by releasing all that before the why? show even came well, here's i don't the thing. know at this point you have to you already spent money on it Yes, yeah, you know but I mean? it's like, it's like it, the perfect example one YouTuber said was it doesn't make any sense. Kratos is a pale white, Caucasian bald man that's played by a black voice actor. 
we don't care what the skin color of the actor is because one we're not seeing them and two as long as they play a great voice it doesn't matter <laughs> i'm gonna call it right now call it by 2050 they're gonna cancel samurai jack <laughs> wait till they find out <laughs> oh shit they're gonna find out samurai jack's black and not uh, japanese that's dope oh man oh, oh shit I, I think i just revealed it yep sorry guys oh that's tough. so we have to so what you're basically saying is we have to buy it and archive it in our blu-rays before they get rid of it or try to voice over who the character is they're gonna say you're imitating a japanese accent that's racist <laughs> Uh, I can't, bro. I can't. This is nuts. I'm this is nuts. Dead. I'm dead. Oh, man. This is oh. crazy. So, yeah, they, they wanted the characters to portray. Oh, no. In 2050, they're going to say that Aquaman is racist because oh. he was a white character and they flipped it to Hawaii. Aquaman's a fucking fish. <laughs> None of that counts. I don't give a damn what you say. He's a fucking fish. Don't tell me shit. Don't tell me nothing. Uh, shit. He can do whatever he wants. He's a fish. Bruh, bruh. He's a He's half fish. Fish. So he's half fish. All right, so. so he can be whatever he wants. He's a half fish. Just like the little mermaid. We see one piece. <laughs> we see one piece. Yeah, well, yeah, but you can tell what character is white and what character is black in one right. in, in, in the fish man. In the really? Yeah. Can yeah. you though? Yeah. Why? Yeah. Tell me the most racist thing ever, Jeff. <laughs> tell me why. Because <laughs> of their lips. Uh uh, right? <laughs> oh, of course. You what? Oh, of course. You what? You All the bubble lip fishes are the black people. That's tough, Jeff. That's fucking tough. I'm sad that you saw that. I just saw a regular <laughs> fish. I just saw a regular really? fish. Really? Really? Did That's you? Tough. I mean, I'm pretty sure <laughs> Usopp gave it I away. I just saw them all. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Usopp gave it away. No, you can't do that. Cause what about what about <sighs> Kuma? Kuma's <laughs> he black. <laughs> okay, but he ain't got that. He don't uh, got the thing. He doesn't have the fucking thing. He doesn't have the <sighs> the jinx mouth. You're making me cry, Jeff. You're making me That's cry. Crazy. Yep. You literally just look at me like, yeah. Fishmen are just fishmen. They're all one race. This nigga no, looked at him and said, yeah, that's the black fish. That <laughs> the big lip fish is the black. Damn, Jeff. There's classes. You're of, lost. There's classes of it lost. in fishmen. You Bruh, have sunken. Just like there's there's different colors of human. There's different colors that's of That's crazy. Fish. Nah. So there's Negro fish. Nah, there's you Spanish fish. <laughs> <laughs> there's gypsy fish. Like that witch. The, the shark witch. What's her name? The one that kept seeing the future and thought Luke. She's literally blue. How do you know what she is? Because, she literally has that. Because she can see the future. And who can see the future in modern Everyone. Gypsies. <laughs> you what? That's. <laughs> I'm going to personally cancel you, Jeff. Uh, um, yeah. You're canceled. Oh, my God. You're making me cry, dude. You're canceled. I got to block you now. Oh, I got to block you everywhere. Yeah. So. <laughs> I'm just saying, you know. You I'm know. there. This man looked at one piece and said, yep, that's a nigga fish. Yep. That's crazy. <laughs> oh, man. You tripping. It's like it's like when mom thought Hulk was black, and I'm like, nope, he's Caucasian. <laughs> no, nigga, he's green. The Hulk is green. There's classism in the Hulk. No, thing. there isn't. Stop. Don't do this. Don't ruin it. Don't ruin my, my fantasy. Don't ruin my dreams. Oh, it deals me. <sighs> Don't ruin my dreams. Yep. I'm just saying, sir. I'm just saying. Nah, I look at One Piece and Fishman, that's the race. Nope. Long neck, Cause, that's cause the race. Because you already know Jinbei's Japanese. So there's different classes. There's different. How is Jinbei Japanese? The nigga got like, he literally has curly hair. But he puts in the po in the the, ja the samurai style um, pony style. He does a Fishman karate. You know what I'm saying? They all live in one Doesn't kingdom. matter. There's no it's Asian like, district. No, it's the United States, of, man. It's of, the United of, States. How many races we have in the United States, Jeff? Okay. That's, First that's, of all, that's basically all right, what Fishman right, Island is. If we don't is. go into this, you literally called an island the United States. Yes. You're tripping. Yes, Fishman Island. 
is the United States. No, it's not. There's so many different no, you can't. races. No, that's terrible. <laughs> they're you all can't. literally fish man. And they were, they were you li- can't call it that's not fish true man. because they're literally explaining. You, you know, there's like if you if you. All right, Jeff. Is everyone in Africa one race? No. All right. See. Oof. Why would I say yes? I know. Oof. Is everyone in Africa one race, no. Jeff? <laughs> There's Caucasians in Africa too. <laughs> Egyptians, you know. There's different races. I'm dead. It's like the United States. Jeff, you tripping. It's different races. I hate you. They're all they're all African, yes, but there's different races in the African. You think there's different races of fishman when fishman is the race? Yes, you can tell. You're tripping, dog. It's like American. You're tripping. <laughs> American's not a race. <laughs> what the fuck? American's not a race. Well, we can say human race. So we could be talking about humanity and then their ethnic <laughs> background. So their ethnic background is <laughs> <laughs> You what? <laughs> it's too late for this shit. <sighs> Don't do this. <laughs> I had to think about delivering packages all day. Now you gotta make me fucking. Oh dog, I'm tripping. What? I'm just saying, you know. How no, do we, how we get into this? You looked at what, what Fishman Island and said that's the U.S. What? And there's nigger fish. Yeah, that's crazy. I thought that was prominent with the lips. I didn't even say that. You brought that up yourself. <laughs> you tripping? Okay, what? Other thing would give away that they're black fish. Their style, the the, the style of clothes that they wear. Each of them are different, you know. You got the so their you got style. The Rico, you got the Rico Suave shirts like you, like like um like how um Arlong wears it, you know. Then you got Jim Bay that wears the old Japanese style. So that's another one too. <laughs> Why are you laughing off camera? <laughs> <laughs> what? Jeez, dog, Are I'm you dead. crying? I'm dead. No, I'm just, I'm just letting you know. Like you can tell by their clothes. It's not just their hair. It, it's not, it's not just their hair. How? <laughs> How? By their clothes? There's different factions, That's you know. Different. That's There's different, different factions, you, you know. It. You tweak so. it. You're tweaking. I don't know what you're talking about. No, nah, you're tweaking. I'm just letting you know. Nope, you're... What are you talking about? <laughs> you're tweaking. Oh, well, yeah. Oh, man. What are you talking about, Joe? Nah, yeah. you fucking with me, dog. Nah, you tripping. Mm. You fucking with me. Nah, all right, all right. Joke's over. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dead. I'm dead. You killed me, man. You killed me. Oh, so, the other day, we were watching King of Lightning react to Baki. Mm-hmm. And watching someone else react to Baki kind of cements how I thought about the show. Like, prime exa- like when he said the way they describe these people, they're like these mythical beings. Mm-hmm. Like, they exist outside of... They do, because literally, like, rocks, buildings, glass... No, that was crazy. It, it's like they, but it's like it's like they meld their body to those elements in order to what, not hurt themselves. It's not even that. It's like that's how I look at it. Physics doesn't matter to them. They that's they are there. It's like a group of Chuck Norrises competing to see who's the most Chuck Norris. That's what I'm saying. Like if you could understand. All right, I'm not gonna have to break this like you get it what i'm yeah. saying right you know what i'm saying so like Not all good. the chuck norris jokes but just in a show and then everyone's competing to see who's the most chad chuck norris chad chuck exactly yeah that's fucking peak. that's ridiculous that's peak yeah that's peak and then the the, the seasoning on that motherfucker is the narrator <laughs> oh man he'll go into detail on oh, why is it like this and why is it like that and it's like okay damn it's beautiful that's... it reminds me of hunter hunter bro it does. Any show I with think a it's narrator, the same guy. It could be. I think it's the same guy. It that is. sounds like I the same so. voice. Yeah. Any show that needs narration, you already know is about to be some god tier stuff. Absolutely. Yes, like sir. in the universe. Mm-hmm. What was it? Record of Ragnarok. Yes. They needed a narrator. They need a narrator they need for a that. Narrator. They're explaining specific reasons why. This was a battle amongst guys. And then on top of that, they're telling you their motivations for why they did it, mm-hmm. like Jack the Ripper right. going up against gods. Beautiful. Oh man, that was amazing. Beautiful that was win. the best fight ever, I think. And he's a human. Right. Adam versus Zeus. Yep. 
Adam, yeah, and Eve was che- cheering him on, like cheering the the. On. the, mm-hmm. the it's, arc, crazy, it's different. Bro. I love that shit. I, I love was. any show that can visually and 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 like actually narrate the gravity of the situation. Yeah. Like it's so amazing. I love the mythos of that. It's because it's always saying like Zeus created Adam and Eve, and then God just took over. Ah, they did the same thing in right. super, they did the same thing in the show Supernatural with Jensen Nackle. Zeus. Yeah. So Zeus created humanity. Right, because every single like outside of you know religious texts, yeah, like every single depiction I see of it's the same. Like he's God is this separate entity Mm -hmm. that defies the traditional god yes you see what i'm saying and he's more powerful than and he's more powerful than the other gods the other gods yes but like they don't prime example um what shows it the man god Mm -hmm. the man god that they show in um with rudius the show with rudius I know what you're talking about. Yeah, 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 I know what you're talking about. Like he, like he follows the man god. Uh, right. The, I know what you're talking about. And then they each worship their own. And then because he, because the demons like, oh, you know the man god, he started attacking them right. for no reason. Yeah. Because all the other gods are like superior than the man. Are trying to destroy yeah. the man, but the man god is freaking OP as hell. Exactly. But they don't know that. They don't know that. Yeah. Exactly. They don't know that. You know. So, but it. it that's that's where like I've seen other examples of that. There's another show where they had also had a man. Ooh, Standing on a Million Lives. It's a show called I'm Standing on a Million I Lives. Have to watch it. Oh, you gotta watch yeah, it. Yeah, I, I watch won't it. divulge. Yeah. Too much into it, but it's a good show. That also has like a depiction of the man. The man god. god. Okay. Mm-hmm. Depiction of the man mm-hmm. god. I don't know. I just think that's. I just think that's really. I cool. love those, I, but I love that iteration because it's like. Yeah, Zeus did did create man from clay or whatever they want to say, but it's like, where does that fit with the devil, the angels, the right. the universe? The is start that all of a it? byproduct of God? God, or is that a right? Because by- God created them, right? No, no. So they're basically, so they're basically, because remember, Zeus said, "I created our father." Remember, they Zeus fought their father mm-hmm. because their father was trying to kill them. Mm-hmm. They created man because man needed to worship them in order to give them power. Right. That's their mythos. And then God came along and said, I'll take over since you're losing your power because nobody's worshiping you anymore. Right. And then I'll to make them worship me. So, and he was kinder or um, the entity, God was kinder to humanity compared to Zeus. They will play with him. Oh, yeah, to co- well, compared to Zeus God. who would sleep with everybody's everything, female, anything, creating everything, demigods all and all that stuff like that um, and not even caring for their people. So remember, prayer is what gave them power. They stopped praying. They started losing their power. So God was more um, softer with them, and then that's what brought him into his, yeah, yeah, exactly. So, and he actually gave them a good and bad place to go. If you were good, you'd go to heaven. If you were bad, you'd go to hell. Compared to Zeus, they'd all just go to the underworld. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, you what? You're like, what the He's fuck? Like, I'm gonna make you suffer on this earth, and you gonna <laughs> suffer in fucking. You you pray for me, no, and that's crazy. and I don't even bring you to no, that's to, crazy. to Olympus. He's like, why are you coming to Olympus? Yeah, yeah fuck, you, fuck you. Fuck you're you. you're a pleb yeah. that that makes me powerful. What the so heck? why am I gonna? bring you up here as our play thing yeah yeah that's for sure crazy. for sure so it's no, disgusting so i'm just gonna send you to the underworld with every other so kudos like, to kratos man you did, yeah you did good yeah kudos to kratos but um no yeah so that that's that's kind of where i'm trying to figure out where god's mythos from that perspective because yes the bl- biblical perspective yeah he created the universe in seven days mm-hmm. and then on the seventh day he rested but how does Zeus fit into that? Because every iteration, whether it be an anime or um, TV shows like Supernatural that we watched, mm-hmm. like how does that fit in there? Because it's like they introduce in season seven or eight of Supernatural, they introduce the the smaller gods like Zeus and right. and Hades and all them. And they're like, oh, yeah, God just came in. He's like, I'll take over the humans. And then we just got kicked off. And then now we're just um, – fumbling for scraps and all that stuff like that so it's like how does that fit into the entire story i feel that so that that's that's kind of something that. that's kind of something that i wanted to um, like the pre-universe universe exactly like they that. live outside of the 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 void of 
darkness and then they just the realms, the realms or whatever but um yeah yeah it's just something that I was curious about and all okay. that stuff like that. I feel that but um i just wanted to dive into um wonka you know i finally uh finally watched watched the the wonka movie that's weird with timothy that's, that's, timothy charlemagne that's still weird to me that it didn't get as much promotion because i would have i would that would have I would have clocked that. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And it was supposed to be a Christmas time movie? Um, I mean, it was released around that time, but like a holiday film. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It right. was like a it was like um a holiday film type thing. Mm-hmm. But they released it around that time. But it's a really good movie. I you, you know me, certain musicals piss me off to where I gotta start. Like, okay, I'm gonna give you an example. I'm gonna give you an example. Being so, happy and singing. Yeah. so you know how everybody and you know how everybody was like frozen, frozen, frozen. They right. went to watch Frozen fifty million times. Never. S- <laughs> you what? Yeah. So I would never forget that. <laughs> that was crazy. No, no, that was no. crazy. I remember it was you, you and I, because I I think that was the year that it was a Marvel movie that came out. It was you, me? It was you, me, Skyler, and his. And it was Frozen versus the Avengers. Uh, yes. Yeah. So we all went. And then we're walking up because that that's when the ticket booth thing existed before um you know what happened. Mm. Um and then there was a guy in front of us and they're like, Yeah, this is the third time I'm going to see it with my daughter. I'm like, God damn, bro, I'm sorry. The songs the songs were catchy. I'm not gonna lie. So when um it finally came on Blu- Blu-ray because this was before uh Disney Plus and all that other stuff like that. I have the movie, I'm not gonna lie. I have the movie. It's on Blu-ray. As soon as I put it in, I thought that was African music. <laughs> because the way it came in, it was like, oh, Uda. you know, like the <laughs> the Lion King. It started like the Circle of Life type shit. <laughs> you what? I'm telling you. Jeff if it was like <laughs> Elsa's black. You can tell. You can, you tell. can tell by the music yep. they introduced yep. her to. Elsa's it black. Was, it was crazy, though. <laughs> Sensational. Uh, shit. No, it was crazy because the way the movie started, like you and I were watching it, um, made five years ago, and I'm like, Jeff, why does this sound like African music, like the beginning of The Lion King? And then we look, it was just these ice pickers picking ice. I'm dead. They were like cutting the ice into cubes <laughs> and picking. I'm like, bro, how you start the movie with an African with, with an drum Af- beats with drum like beats that. and an African soundtrack? But I get it though. The the songs are catchy. So when I went in to watch. When I went in to watch this, because for me, musicals have to be something that it's hard to watch certain musicals when your entire film is just singing. Mm. Like, I have to like it. If I don't like it, I just start fast forwarding it. (laughs) (laughs) You what? Jeff, the song could be <laughs> the song could be moving the plot along. No, no, no. no. You're gonna be like, how did they no. get here? They, no, they so, sang from the I'm mountains ta- to the I'm river. I'm gonna tell you something. I'm gonna tell you something. I'm gonna tell you something. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. You what? So, when I was watching Frozen. It was amazing. It was a good movie. I loved it. I understood why these these young girls kept going back to rewatch it over and over and over again. Uh, for me, I like to analyze films, why they're good, all that stuff like that. And they all they the 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 reason why this film captured me and the songs weren't annoying was because the film exploited all the Disney princesses. It wasn't woke. It said, "How can you fall in love with somebody for the first time that we just met?" And it was basically putting all the tropes where it's saying, oh, why would you marry this dude when you just met him? What what did you like about him that made you fall for him? And, of course, her sister creating um, Olaf, Olaf made her realize certain things that she was in, she was doing. And they didn't go to the trope that she was the damsel in distress, but they didn't also make her that strong, independent boss babe either. Yeah. Like, she needed help, but she didn't want to ask the guy for help and the guy was willing to do it regardless that's why i like the first film the, f- the first film was phenomenal incredible and all that stuff like that then we jump into the second film i couldn't even fucking watch it it was the dumbest you had you had 
goddamn 10 fucking years. Was it 10 years? When did Frozen 2? Well, let's Google Frozen 2. Let's do Frozen 2. Frozen. Let's do Frozen 2. I can't They better not fucking be doing the Frozen 3. I'm stabbed. Right. Please don't do it. Right. 2019. So the, the, the first film, the second film came out 2019, and the first film came out 2013. So you damn near, so what was it? You damn near had six, seven years to come out with the second film, and it fucking made no sense. Ice was coming. Her powers were going out of control, and it was going to freeze the entire kingdom. So the music was... Oh, Let's just say every time they sang, I started fast forwarding. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's terrible. It was that's that bad. Terrible. It was that bad. I can't even enjoy it. I couldn't even enjoy it because the plot was so stupid. I said, so you're telling me, so you're telling me the reason why the whole kingdom is frozen is because she can't control powers, so she has to go over to the other side in order to save the other kingdom, separating herself from her sister that she loves so much, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, that's the plot? You guys fucking waited six years to give me jack shit and fuck all. <laughs> that's why the second movie, that's why the second movie didn't, didn't get the traction that the first film had. And that's and I think that's the biggest issue with a lot of Disney projects is they give them too much time and they overthink what they're supposed to create. So in overthinking it, they screw it up. That's how come I loved uh, like John Wick. It, it 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 literally, they literally gave them two years, two years, two years, two years, and then it project it, it, it perpetuated what was coming up next and all that stuff mm -hmm. like that. And then all they did was build on selling the toys because that's what you make your money off. It's not from the the film; okay. it's from the merchandise. Right. And I get that part, but it's like you guys wasted too much time focusing on selling the merchandise and not creating a good story. That's facts. so. And they and, just wanted to create catchy jingles yeah. and. Cool and then creating the catchy jingles they made it worse and then it's like it went from i need your help to i don't need your help at all i can do everything by myself because it's 2019 now and we don't need a man so that <laughs> that was just to me that was just crazy <laughs> oh shit so so to me that was just crazy and it's like and and that's why incredibles yes it took a long time. But Incredibles 2 was good. The only thing I didn't like about it was, the only difference was, it went from the father to the mother. So the dad had to stay home, and then the, mo the mother was like, all right, I get to be the hero, mm -hmm. which I understand. She was... She she missed the nostalgia of saving people. Of being Elastigirl. Yeah, of right. being Elastigirl. Right. So they gave her that opportunity. And that's why that film worked, because they showed you a different perspective of, okay, dad stay home with Jack-Jack. Mom mom gets to be the face of the, the, the brand, family, the family the brand, again. Right. And and that yeah. was that was fine. I liked that film because I didn't look at it as she didn't need her husband or anything like that. It's just that. She needed her husband so she could do. Yes, you know, her husband. Her, her husband had her right. his time, and right. now she wanted her they moment in the in, in the spotlight. And that was that was an enjoyable film, but it's not. But they still complemented each other, and that's what I liked about right. the film. But um, but Frozen Two did not do that for me. That's why I didn't buy the second film because it was trash. I bought the first one because it's like I can pop that in and watch it over and over again. I can go on Disney Plus and watch it over and over again. I cannot watch the second uh, film. And then now they're thinking about coming out with a, a third one in 2026. And I'm like, are you guys fucking kidding me? The second one was trash. But they're, but now they're just building on. But what do you build off of that? What do you what do? You do? You I don't think they got married at the end. I think he just proposed because the first movie he didn't propose to her. They just ended up being girlfriend and boyfriend in the first film. Second film, he wanted to propose. He finally did at the end. So I'm guessing the third one is probably going to be their wedding. What is like someone going to destroy the wedding? There's someone going to no, prevent the wedding? No. You know, you know how Disney movies are connected. Remember Elsa's Elsa's uncle and um, uncle went overseas and apparently that was Tarzan's mom and dad and they ended up dying and she, <laughs> You know how they connected all that. And Disney actually canoned it, so. Really? Yeah. Yes. Oh, that. So, because remember, they were getting married. Wait, but isn't Elsa's kingdom a fake kingdom? Yeah, I don't know. Is she a fake princess? Is that what you're trying to say, Jeff? Like, Tarzan actually went to Africa. You see what I'm saying? 
Yeah. They actually went to a real world place. Well, apparently they were coming over to the wedding, and then they the ship crashed, and then of course that was their their um, uncle and aunt, but they ended up dying. So Tarzan, That's crazy. Tarzan was born in ninety seven. So Tarzan is related to. Mm-hmm. What if they meet Tarzan in the third? They movie? ain't doing that shit. <laughs> Because remember, at the end of Tarzan, that nigga didn't leave. He, he's like, I'm not leaving. He pulled off his clothes and I'm not fucking leaving. <laughs> I'm not fucking leaving. What the fuck? I got plenty of fruit yeah. and animals here. I don't need. I need to go. He's a vegetarian, so he's good. Tarzan's not leaving because, according to Jeff, Tarzan is black. <laughs> <laughs> you what? Sensation. I'm gonna milk that for the rest. Tarzan of the is night. black. Yes, he is. You feel me? Yes, he is. Oh, He's got the Negro gene. Dead you know? as hell. You tripping. Yep. You tripping. Only black people can climb trees like that. <laughs> you what? We're going to build you a porch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but um, no, no, to go back to, to go back to, I, I would just basically went in a rant on Frozen because of musicals. So just to go back to uh, the Wonka film with Timothy um, Charlemagne, the the guy that's also in Dune, which Dune Part 2 was supposed to come out last year, but it got pushed back. I think it got pushed back because Wonka was coming out, uh, out around the same time. Mm-hmm. So Dune was originally supposed to come out last year in November. Oh, and he didn't want to have competing Competing, films. yes. Yeah, because Dune is also done, I think, by the... Wait, nah, fuck that. Keanu Reeves did that with Matrix and John Wick. Yeah, they don't care. It's probably, Come the, same on, man. It's probably the same company, you know. Yeah. Matrix and John Wick dropped at the same time. It's or pro- when Blumhouse does, like, dual, double horror film features. It's Blumhouse, though. I feel that. Yeah, it's Blumhouse. So, I feel that. No, but the film was surprisingly good. I found myself smiling, like, as if I were watching the classic... Uh, Willy Wonka and the Charlie, uh, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Back when I was in fourth grade, back when I rewatched it again um, um, previously, but it felt that way because I was smiling the entire film, and the musicals, the the sound numbers weren't annoying. I didn't find myself wanting to fast forward it. I actually wanted to listen to the song. I actually um, loved how the plot progressed and how it wasn't the Oompa Loompas that helped him get to where he was. It was people that he knew that helped him get the factory, put things together. He didn't slavery. No. He <laughs> didn't do a slavery. That's he basically, he yes. They they washed him of his sins. Basically, yes. <laughs> and they kind of changed they kind of changed the plot for the Oompa Loompas uh, a little bit. Like, it was just one of them, and he was kicked off the island because, um, of course, Char- uh, Willie stole their um, chocolate pods, and they basically said, until you bring the the equivalent amount of what he stole, you could not come back. Wow. So, But towards the end of the film, he ended up creating the factory and said, I need a chocolate taste tester because he loved Willie's chocolates. So he ended up staying anyways, and that's what happened. And I'm guessing... In the older version of it, the only reason why he went back to Africa was because they were being eaten by gators or some or shit. Like this, that. this. Oh yeah, that weird creature thing. Creature thing. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah. that's the reason why he went back. So of course he he became the leader of all of them because he was or, originally there. So the Oompa Loompas are black. Yes. Because mm. they're from Africa. That's why he didn't do a slavery job. So that's why they. Yes. Yes. So I think I think that's why they avoid that in the film. But they they literally, um, but I love the I love the plot of the film, the mm-hmm. direction it went, how the three chocolate um, bosses were working together secretly, and any new competition that would happen, um, they would try to get rid of them by using the cops, um, because they they would not use money to bribe people. They would use chocolate. Because it was a rare commodity. That's fire. Yes, it was a rare commodity where they're at. So it was just amazing the way they did everything. And the fact that he didn't use cow's milk for his chocolate. He used giraffe's milk for his chocolate. So that, yeah, yeah, that was different. So in using giraffe's milk for his chocolate, it gave it a specific unique taste. And, of course, he would add his own magic. Like He would discover magical things in Africa that he would use in his chocolate, which is why it was so different. That's fine. So, oh, shit. but th- but that's what I'm saying. And then, uh, like I said, of course, all the musicals were amazing. Like, 
I was smiling every time they started singing. I wasn't annoyed. You see what I'm saying? So it's like um, it's like um, if you were to go see, if you were to watch a um, a musical on on the the TV compared to watching it in real life. Let's, I feel that. Say you go like Barbie B Man and right. they they play a musical. Right. You 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 would be it more. Feels different, yeah, like right. if you were going to to go see Grease or Hairspray. Uh -huh. You'd be like, oh, my God, this is way different from the films. The films, it's like, oh, pause, do it again, blah, 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 pause, do it again. We're uh, live on stage. You got to go. You got to remember your lines, right. even if it takes five seconds, um, especially. saying, And they got an 82% on Rotten Tomato, too, uh, 95 from audience. Yeah, it was a good yeah. film. And I have the original old one, so I want to add that Wonka. Wait, you don't have the Johnny Depp? It's a nostalgic film. I think I'll get that one. Yeah, Johnny Depp. That's already nostalgic. Yep. Yeah, we're our, we're pushing. Yeah, twenty yeah. years on. And that. it was we're done right. by um, Tim Burton. Yeah, we're pushing twenty years. On Absolutely. Every time Tim Burton does a film, I love it. I love it. The only normal Absolutely. film he did was Batman and Batman Returns. After that, it just got weird. Really? That wasn't a weird bat. That was weird in itself, sir. Michael Keaton? Michael Keaton's Batman? Yeah, Michael Keaton's Batman. Batman was the original. Batman Returns. It was, oh, right, with Joker. With, uh, with Joker was Michael Keaton, and then you had um, my, Batman Return with the Penguin, Catwoman. Cobblepot. Cobblepot, yeah. I mean, besides that that man eating fish, I mean. Yeah, that was as realistic yet weird as you yeah. could get right. And, and then, then after you, that, it was just Edward, C it. Edward Scissorhands. And then you had Beetlejuice, which I have. Right. It, so it just kept. And then getting, he had his animated films. Yes, he had the right. stunt motion. Uh, what was it? What's it called? Uh, Nightmare Before Christmas. Frankenstein's Bride. Fra Frank and Weenie. James and the Giant Peach. Yep. Uh, Frank and Weenie. Yep. Uh, Coraline. Was that him? Was Coraline Tim Burton? I don't know if that was him. I don't think that was. No, I, I think that's the only one that was him. Yeah. yeah. So, but no, no, just, just, I mean, just to say, man, like, like I said, I don't like musicals. Like when I was watching high school musical back in the day, no, high school musicals, is lit. I don't want to hear any slander. No, the, I was, I was talking about the, the third one. I didn't, oh, like, yeah, the I didn't like the third one. Cool. Yeah. The third one. Wait, was the third one was the one in theaters. Right? Yes. That's why I was trash. Oh, I feel Cause that. I couldn't watch it. They tried to do too much they tried to make it too they got so much big budget from it because right. they the, the merchandise that they sold they're like all right we got the budget to put in actual theaters and it's like bitch it was free yeah. for one and two and now i gotta go to theaters but to it was the actually third. good though you know they gave it that movie style right that movie style they but. gave it a movie feel yeah now nah, but if and you I felt like that kind of took me out of it though it did because I like the TV movie vibe. It, it the t not just the TV movie vibe, but you were at home in your comfort spot watching. It. Now you have to drive and go see it and listen to it with other people. Exactly, and you can't sing along if you want. To. No, because then everyone's gonna look at you. We're all in this. To you can't even do the together. Right. Once we once. know. Once you gotta get the clap oh. right. In this mm -hmm. together. together. <laughs> yeah, you know. <laughs> Sensation, sensation. Oh, shit. Oh. You what? Everyone's going to look at us like we're crazy. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah, but but that's what I'm saying. I love musicals, man. Like, I love watching I love watching plays in actual person. I love watching, like, um, um, like when we're, when I went to go see The Nutcracker, like, I watched The Nutcracker on TV, and I could never finish watching right. it. But when I went to actually see, see it, it right. that oh, that that Christmas Eve about four or five years ago, it was amazing. It's different watching it with your eyes because you get up, you get the story. Right. Everybody has a different perspective on the story. Yes, it, you have a simple plot, but everybody might interpret it different. Like some people might look at the Rat King as evil, others might look at it as good. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Perfect example. And we had we had a conversation on that, and you you made me realize it because you knew this the whole time. Like everybody, everybody looks at Beauty and the Beast, mm. and everybody looks at the Beast like he's the hero, and Gaston is the bad, the guy. bad guy. And what they don't realize is he was literally the epitome of masculinity, the hero, the man that would protect and 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 take care of you and keep you safe. 
where the beast was an emotional creature that would abuse lash out lash out right um was ruthless right. in prison uh-huh. um emotionally mm-hmm. uh and, and emotionally abuse emotion mentally abuse no emotionally yeah i was yeah, right yeah. emotionally abuse bell and she didn't get that and not understand why all she wanted to do was fix him i can save him i can fix him i can save all of them that's crazy because i'm batman so but that's that's the thing and it's like a lot of people didn't see that right but gaston was the hero the whole time he wasn't a bad guy he wasn't an asshole it's just he liked the girl the girl didn't like him the girl went after the bad boy the bad boy ended up killing the good guy and then they told all the <laughs> well, <laughs> what 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 you what yeah I- the bad boy ended up killing the good guy and then they told all these little girls growing up watching this film that yeah gaston is the bad guy you the, can save your imprisoner yes you can you save can, your, your, your your that's crazy that is crazy that's right crazy. That's that a lot crazy. of people didn't see that but i think that's that's what that's is that stockholm syndrome i think so yeah but I think that's why I've bought so many Disney classics and Disney movies because I love the 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 um the singing. I they they're all catchy, amazing tunes. And then just me watching Wonka brought me back to that nostalgia. Gave you that. Yeah, it, it, like I'm sitting there. Cheesing. I'm just cheesing. Jesus. I'm just cheesing. I'm like, damn, this is good. It's not annoying. I don't want to fast forward like Frozen 2. I actually <laughs> You what? I actually want to listen to this. And I'm like, damn, this is amazing. I'm like, all right. Now I actually have to buy this film and add it to my collection. Because I have the old one anyway. Word. But Wonk and then of course Charlie and the Chocolate Factory with um the Tim Burton film with Johnny Depp was okay, but now it's so nostalgic and good. I really want to get that right, one too, because right. that literally shows you a a young Willy Wonka, and then the the old film is old, old Willy, Willy Wonka, Wonka because when rem- he finally meets Charlie. Yes, because remember he shut down the factory for about ten years, years because he was having issues with certain things, certain chocolates that he had to figure out first. Where young Willy Wonka just wanted to start up and begin it. So it's uh, like they showed you the three stages. Like yeah, so. They they showed you the three stages of the Wonka verse. Yes. So, but the only thing I think they messed up in is they introduced Charlie and in, in the Tim Burton one as well. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't just. It wasn't just. Um. Oh, it was like just a reimagining of the mm-hmm. original characters. But I look at it as uh, Timothy was the young uh, Johnny Depp was uh, the, the twenty five to maybe thirty five, and of course the the older film was the when he was um way older and way older. retired. But he's always had the cane. It's not that he limps. He's just always had the cane. Right. Even the candy guy. Yeah. The candy version of Wonka. Which yeah. came first, the candy or the guy, or the act or the character? The candy guy. Fuck. Candy man. Okay. I asked the dumbest question. What are you All talking right. about? All right. Which came first? Did the Wonka candy inspire the film character, or did the film character inspire the candy? Jeff. No, the candy came first. The candy came first. Yes. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. And he always had the cane in the original. Yes. Gotcha. All right. So, but no, when, and what really laid it down for me is was towards the end when he sang Pure Imagination. It was like him doing it for the first time because he also, if you remember the old film, he also did it in the old film. Right. So it was an amazing Dollar, that, it that was amazing, yeah. Amazing. Where it's like, come with me, you will be in a world of pure imagination. But I love that song, the mm-hmm. take a look and you'll see into your imagination. Oh, he, he. Yep. I feel that. I feel that. He didn't want to. Yep. Yeah, he was trying to rip like, off of Gene yeah. Wilder's version. Well, I mean, it was technically WB, so. But he's right, like, WB wrote that. Yeah, ah. we'll begin with a spin. Well, all I all I hear is Gene Wilder. Creation. That's it. That's it. All I hear is yeah. Gene Wilder. He was the original. But I love it. If you want to view paradise, you may look around and view. Hey, don't get us copyright. Right. <laughs> right. Let me stop. Let me stop. This is a good song. Oh, so it's a good song. Oh, dead. Don't get us copyright. Um. Fair use. <laughs> <laughs> Just ready. <laughs>
Wow. Right, right. Wow. Right. <laughs> but they're gonna deny it because I'm right. <laughs> But no, no, I kind of, I kind of just wanted to to touch up on that last point because that, it was a really good film, man. I, I loved it, and and it's not. And one thing I just wanted to reiterate is that there could be good sing along films. It, it's just you can't overdo it and force it. It has to be something that will make us that. make us feel some type of way. And again, too, when I watch all these classic Disney films, and then of course, like I said, Frozen was a recent sing-along before I stopped watching them because even Hairspray was good when I watched it. Grease was so good, was... we learned all the songs yeah, that's true. from from um, from from the class. No, Hairspray was good. Yeah, yeah, but that's what I'm saying. It was catchy. How many times did we watch it when we were young? Yeah. We watched it a fuck ton of times. Burn the CD. Burn the CD, yep. That's why. That's how. Good, that's how good it was. And, of course, it was Burned so good, it. they made a, a, a Broadway out of it. Yeah. It was that good, True. but that's what I'm saying. Uh, sing along films, not sing along films, but um, f- films, musicals, mu- musicals are good. It's just you can't force it, and 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 it has to. The director has to want the film to be good by creating music or getting directors or composers that know how to write a song that'll make the person or um, audience interested in it. And this film was very good. Uh, Char- um, Timothy took a different take on Willy Wonka, and he did a very fantastic job on it. I understand why he he, he they they chose him to do so many good films like right, Dune, right. but it's like if you're forcing it just to make a buck like Frozen Two, then it's gonna be trash. Like all the song Corey, the the all the songs that they put in that that film, I was listening to it. It felt forced. It, it felt forced. I'm like, I'm literally like maybe twenty thirty seconds in. Fast forward. I'm like this. <laughs> I ain't gonna remember this shit. Like everywhere, I'm. So this is what happened. Frozen came out 2013. From 2013 to maybe 2015 or 2016, I've been hearing the uh, the songs from Frozen everywhere. It was so catchy; it was on the radio. To the point where I'm like, "All right, let me see what this is about." So four years later, I buy the film on Blu-ray, and I'm like, "Let me watch this shit," and it was good. It was really good. I understood why not just the young girls would like it, right. why they created a Broadway from it. It was made for everybody. It was made for right. everybody. But it's like now Did the second one get a Broadway? No. They just inserted politics in the uh, <laughs> the songs were trash. I'm telling you, dog. Like we watch media to escape. Yes. Like stop showing I don't escape shit. reality yeah. to jump back into like, reality. Dog. I escape reality so I can imagine myself right. being As something not else existing in this fucking whatever. Yes. You yes. know like yes. come on, bro. I love what I love. Like, I geez. I love everything that you see in this room is the the reason why I think the way I do I love what I love because right. it's like my imagination is broad and vast. So I have. Right. Persp- you want to ground it in. Exactly. Fucking, oh. Yeah. Oh. I feel it. This is why life sucks. You yeah. should see it in your art and media. Exactly. Life sucks in art and media too. So let's make it so. Oof. Yeah. That's tough. <sighs> you tough. what? But uh, yeah, yeah, that's that, that that that's kind of the final point I wanted to bring up is Wonka is a good movie. I think uh, I recommend it to everybody. I think it's now on digital. I, I think now it's on digital, so um, everybody can watch it. I hear that. I've been hearing that since forever. I don't know what. Now it's on digital. Yeah, Prime, YouTube. Um, no, because you remember way back in the day, mm-hmm. like when they first started, like before these streaming things, Google Play. You'd get a code. Or you could get the digital version of the movie. Yes, but I never understood how that worked. Like, could you download it? Yes. Yeah, so you can you when you can either go to their website. So they'll have the website. Like you know how you if you it, like was it a license for the movie? Yes. Bec- so that means I could mass produce the movie. No, because it was on their website. So let's say so you it, could only watch it on their website. So let's say it's a Paramount film. Right. You have to go to Paramount.com slash. Uh, their whatever, blah, blah, blah. and then into the code, into the code, and then that's just it. You could just go on Paramount all the time and access it. That's and it. Just watch it on their site. That's it. So you couldn't download it, rip- no, because you've already physically bought the film. So it's just dig- you you being able to go anywhere and digitally watch it without having to take a whole bunch of films with you. 
now they just put on Google Play Movies and TV and Amazon Prime and YouTube, Gosh. so you can access all those. So you can buy the film. Like like right now, I'm looking at it. It says it's 19.99 on Amazon Prime. It's yours. What well, you own the license, just like video games, right. from the film. But you can access it anytime you want gotcha. for because you bought it technically. Ah, so okay, yeah. Thank you for explaining. Yeah, that. yeah. For, I never understood what that meant. I always thought, oh yeah, I could just download it. Yeah, that's why I used to give my word on my iPod. That's why I used to give my codes away because. But the thing that sucks with the the whole code thing is you have to go to 50 million different websites, Paramount, Sony. Um, WB, all that, right. just so you can watch the film, so and it's not on one one, movie, one right. platform. Yeah, it's not on one platform. You have to go to multiple platforms to watch them. So now they just do Google Play, Amazon, because everybody has those, or YouTube. So you can just go to either any of those, pay for the film, you own the licensing right, so you can access it whenever you want, and then you can watch it. You just store it in your archives, and then you have it forever. That's the only difference. Unless they delete the website, and but for me, yeah, yeah. Unless they delete the website, but for me, I just love ha I just love collecting films. Physical. Yeah, so not just to watch, but also if the world goes to shit and every the internet time, doesn't work, every time I have to. This is the archive, you know. How do you learn to How do you learn to avoid serial killers? You got you got an archive of that. How do you That's true. How do you avoid aliens? You got an archive of that. W going to war, you have an archive of that. Uh, superhero films, you have an archive of that. Star Wars, if you go to space, you have an archive of that. Archive of Disney that. films, animation. How was animation back in the the 1990s and 80s and 50s? You have an archive of that. 3D films, you have an archive. Christmas movies, you have an archive of that. So, classic films, you know. I got the Pulp Fiction, Beverly Hills Cop, Raid 1 and 2, Mimic, Evil Dead, Gremlins, The Crow. I mean, you have an archive of that. You see what I'm saying? So, I go from supernatural to game to animation to all that stuff like that, um, to horror films, to killers, to all that stuff like that. Future, you go from Demolition Man to Loopers with... Um, Bruce Willis, you have you have you have an archive of that. You yeah, see what I'm saying? That's true. So that's true. If you want to become Batman, you have an archive of that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, hey, you never know, you know. I would love to see at some point in my lifetime someone actually like does it. Right. Physically pass and, and actually, human it, human physical CRISPR. Yep. CRISPR. Yes, sir. We're gonna have super. Yep. We will have superheroes. I just need to be able to jump off a building and then the shockwave be absorbed into my muscles. By 2060, we will have the first quirk baby. <laughs> <laughs> right? Oh, uh, man. Alpha will be giving ba uh, kids to the... Oh, dude. Hey, Joe. Yeah. My brain's getting loopy. I got you, man. I got you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, no, I just wanted to... I just wanted to uh, uh, finish up with that, but musicals are good if you want to watch them. But they are, uh, but you have to be passionate about the project. Is all I wanted to say. But guys, I know it's late, but uh, thank you again for joining us at the tabletop. If you want to catch and watch our ugly mugs on Tuesdays and Thursdays, we're on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Pandora. Deezer, TuneIn, iHeartRadio, Amazon Music, and now YouTube Music. We also have our YouTube channel, One Word, Tabletop Topics, our Triple T's Clips channel, and our TikTok. So if you click on the links, it'll take you directly to the episodes. And, of course, we have timestamps so you can navigate throughout. Don't forget to like, subscribe, ring the notification bell, and, of course, leave us a comment. Again, guys, thank you again for joining us at the Tabletop. You have a good night, weekend, evening, and day, and oh, we'll wait. see. Ah. Sorry, go ahead. See you on Thursday. <laughs> Yay! And we'll be going live on Thursday. So. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. So absolutely. we'll see you guys live on Thursday. All right, y'all. See you. See you. See you. Thank you.